What's up, everybody? This is Mr. Collins. Um, this is a speed art. I do speed art every weekend, so this is today's speed art. I wanted to change it up a little bit. I've been doing a lot of music mixtape covers, so this time I wanted to do something sports-oriented. And uh, I'm picking LeBron James because I'm from the city of Cleveland, so it's just only right that our, you know, we all root for our team in our city. So I'm setting up uh, basically a poster layout using the city skyline as the terminal tower right now. So I'm using the pen tool because it's um, easier to cut it out using the pen tool, cutting the background out. So I'm just cleaning up that background, getting that city in there. Um, I already laid in the sky, so that's some rust I'm adding to the skyline um, just to give it a weather beat up look. And shortly after that, I'm gonna start adding in some uh, bushes and trees and foliage to uh, just give it a, a overgrown look, beat up. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just cleaning up uh, bushes and stuff right now. So I'm just giving, getting different type of images of trees, bushes, um, roots, dirt. Yeah, I'm surely going to bring in some dirt. I wanted to give it like a city was kind of floating in the air. So I'm just kind of filling in those areas you see right now with um with uh, trees and right now i'm adding some more grass and greenery just different type of trees and grass and greenery um, right there i'm adding some rust to signs um, cleaning it up uh, now i'm adding in the dirt so underneath this floating city would be some dirt so um, just trying to change stuff around, uh, give it, give it that floating look. Um, grabbing different type of, different types of dirt, um, so you could get to mixing these things together using uh, layer masks and blending molds, giving it cracks and giving it different textures and giving it like like it's actually uh, some dirt underground. So I was just kind of imagining how it would look and what would be under there. So, you know, I'm kind of working in some shadows right now um, because this is underneath trying to give it some type of uh, some dimension with these shadows. Now I'm bringing in some roots. So I just kind of, I could just kind of try to think about what what would be under here if, if the city was upside down. If, like it was, if the city was kind of pulled out of the ground, what would you see? You would see roots. You would see dark darkness. Um, so, so putting on those shadows underneath another layer mask kind of gives it that uh, th that that look, a three dimensional look. Now I'm adding some dimensions to the sky. Um, I felt like a moon should be there. Some some birds flying over. So now I'm flipping the city upside down and hanging some more. Uh, just, just let's just say the city was upside down. I'm adding some vines and um, things like that to, uh, I guess, those street lights. So uh, just trying to give it a dynamic look. Uh, just trying to do something different. Um, I guess I was thinking like look, the city is uh, upside down. LeBron James is on top. Um, he's kind of in the position where he's. Uh, getting up so I thought that this was a you know a good a good look uh, as far as the layout goes so I'm using the pen tool get a good uh, cut him out of the background kind of tilting him on the the dirt kind of making him look like he's really there so I guess the key to Photoshop is to blend in layers blend in colors you know, desaturating the color a little bit, adding some shadows to the ground, his legs, and kind of thinking about the lighting and where's the light coming from. Um, so if he was on the ground, you know, uh, we're adding some rim light to him as well. So uh, y'all got to bear with me because this is my first time kind of doing a talk over. I usually do music. So um, I just wanted to, you know, my classic, you know, get a feel on what I was doing to, thought process I'm adding some lights adding overall tone to it and I'm adding some words um, so this is more like a poster layout earn not forgiven and I just didn't want to just do text so I'm kind of like cutting the letters up so 
uh, you flatten the letters and you're able to manipulate those letters. So since it's like upside down, earth, uh, dirt, everything is all scattered, I felt that it was only right to do the lettering scattered. So I just wanted something kind of simple, um, kind of just playing with uh, layer mesh right now, kind of giving it the, its own t type of beat up look. So it's kind of like um, LeBron James coming you know, I mean, I guess we've been having like a topsy-turvy year, kind of been some rough games. So this is like um, him coming, not coming back, but add some more tones. I guess just him being getting knocked down, the city's upside down. He's kind of knocked down on one knee, kind of getting up. So I'm kind of trying to figure out some way to, pop out this text over there. Uh, I guess I really wasn't feeling it too much, but I felt like, I, you know, I always want to show the class some text or something. So, um, kind of, uh, it seems like every time I do the speed art, I'm kind of rushing to do it. Um, so now I think I'm adding some dodging and burning and burning in shadows and Dodging highlights um, gives it that uh, real clean, crisp feel. So, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment. Thanks.